I'm gonna try to show you how to make a homemade fuse that's sort of like Visco but it's never gonna be a substitution for Visco but it actually works quite good I'm using it for my stuff all the time now after I started making it I don't know if it's been posted online before or anything but well I just sat around playing one night and this came to me uh, it's basically what you're gonna use when you're making a smoke bomb and it's it's the same method you use when you're making gunpowder out of using the precipitation method uh, you're gonna need a mix of potassium nitrate and sugar you could use dextrose but I'm just using plain old sugar it's dissolved in water anyway so it works just fine uh, I'm using a mix of approximately 55% potassium nitrate and 45% sugar anything like 60-40 will work but I found 55-45 that's working the best now please excuse my English I'm Norwegian so <coughs> the English will not be very good anyways you're gonna need the mix a bowl of distilled water and some uh, plain old household string uh, the best would be if you use cotton string but I don't have that lying around so I'm, I'm using household string I will turn to cotton string when I get it <coughs> sorry but um, hey this is what works now uh, I'm not gonna actually do this I'm just gonna show you how to make it because I got plenty now so this is just just uh, proof of concept take the uh, water and you mix in a good amount of nitrate and sugar I uh, have no measurements I just use just dump it in and dissolve it in, a, in, a, in, a, in an amount like this it's gonna be like uh, two three tables uh, sorry teaspoons but that's gonna be just enough you take uh, as much string you can get in there without it being full and uh, you don't put it in right away now to get this right you're gonna have to heat the water uh, the best would be if you have a like cooking plate that you can take outside because you have to do this outside you cannot do this inside just like when you're doing uh, black powder using a precipitation method do not do it inside there will be a fierce amount of uh, alcohol vapors when you precipitate it so you just make it and you take it outside you heat the water with the mix in it <coughs> sorry again and you just stir it out until it's all dissolved then what you do is you put in your string while it's still hot on the plate and you just stir it around vigorously just to make it all coated and just to get a good mix next you have some alcohol and please <laughs> please please turn off the heat turn off all sources of ignition do not have anything that could ignite around because this will be flammable this is incredibly flammable now when it's still hot you have every source of ignition turned off and while stirring very vigorously without spilling just keep stirring keep stirring and you dump in some alcohol I have no measurements so I don't know how much I'm using but I'm using enough to get a good you'll see it, it won't clump but you'll see it coating the string and uh, it's actually it's quite easy to see when it's done but do not use a lot of alcohol it's sort of uh, like 10 20 percent of the amount of water but no more than that when you've done that you take the string out and be careful it's hot so just le let it cool but try to untangle it you hang it to dry and again nowhere near any source of ignition preferably a room outside where it's not cold but hey if you can put it inside without any source of ignition that's good when it's dry it'll sort of look like this it's uh, quite stiff and uh, you'll feel it being sort of like powder and well you'll get the idea if you do it so when you're gonna use it to get it to work properly you just take normal scissors you cut out 
the lengthy one and as you can see it's very stiff it's very it won't bend or anything to get a good oxygen mix in there what you have to do is you have to untangle it a bit sort of like you just twist it the opposite way it's twisted on the roller this will let the oxygen oxygen flow more available if you will so now you can see it's all bendable it's quite nice you will get a bit of powder on your fingers but I don't put that in your mouth or anything so this is uh, how you make a homemade fuse I'm gonna show you how to make uh, or how to how it's working because I've made this uh, bowl here it's just the way you're making a brake charge if you're making a cylinder but I don't have any good black powder lying around so I'm just gonna use a slow star mix I have but it'll give you an idea of how the fuse is working you can see it's bending real nice and you can treat it anyway sort of like Visco but again it will be no substitution for Visco Homemade views.